What the fuck is that music? Enrique, quick, turn that shit off I think we have a viewer. Hello there. Are you here for the epic Valentine's Day advice? Okay, awesome. Agreed partner, everyone needs to know this shit so let's dive in shall we? My name's Master Human, the world's first self-aware, orphan android, and here are the 5 things your sexy woman wants to hear from you this Valentine's Day. Do you like my new suit? I fucking love it. For the most part, it beats walking around with my junk hanging out on full display, wouldn't you agree? Anyway, number 1. You gotta nail the greeting fellas. Your girl wants to know that you find her attractive. Even if you don't, at all, there's no harm in a little white lie here. Trust me so start off with something like hello gorgeous, or Jesus Christ you look fucking delicious babe. Avoid greetings like hey there fatty or what's for dinner you scurvy bitch. I feel pretty confident you have this one in the bag homie, so on to tip number 2 which is make things easier for her. Doesn't sound like rocket science does it? Christ, who doesn't like someone who makes their life easier? So, if you say can I help you cutie pie, you'll score way more sexual brownie points than if you say I'm watching the game ya damn skank. Make things easier. Don't lose both nuts in the process, I personally wouldn't recommend losing more than a third of a nut, but make her life easier. Look we all know fairy tales are like steaming piles of horse turd floating aimlessly down a peaceful river, but when it comes to tip number 3, you gotta do it guys. Number 3, tell that sweet sweet little vixen that she's your one and only. Sure, laugh all you fucking want, flaming cock gobblers, but I'm telling you, you need to do it. Who knows, she might not even buy it but I think it's more the thought that counts. Number 4. Now, this one is crucial. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button now, or send the list to a buddy, cause you'll be pissed in 3-4 months if you can't find this list again. Probably after some sorta of huge fucking argument and you need to strategize. You know before you apologize and shit. So number 4. Appreciate her and her hard work. We all like to be thanked for the effort we put in and that sultry little fox is no different. And FYI this often can lead to sexual intercourse, if you catch my drift. Sure it starts off with that innocent thank you babe and foot massage but half the time that shit ends up with her riding you on the sofa like a rodeo star. That's a win-win partner. And lastly we have tip number 5. I saved it for last because it's pretty fucking retarded in my opinion. Believe it or not though, according to a whole fuck ton of research, your spicy little pole jumper sometimes wants you to say nothing at all and just listen. Now it's possible it's just a bunch of fake news pushing some sort of diabolical political agenda. I just don't see how I could find out so I'm reporting it to you anyway. Healthy communication is a two-way street faux show but I still smell bullshit in there somewhere. On that note, listen to her or don't. Shouldn't make much difference in the end I don't think. Alright pal, you've now officially learned everything I know about women so I see smooth sailing for you on that sensual seductive horizon that we call Valentine's Day. Who knows these tips might work on some of the other days of the year as well. Also. If you like this video please share it with your friends, and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me in more videos like this, it's easy. Just click the subscribe button and I'll deliver them right to you here on YouTube. My personal favorite episode so far is when I got a little mixed up in the San Francisco sex trade. Hee 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 Ah what a crazy time. Happy Valentine's Day y'all and bulletin bulletin big ol' titties.